In this video I built an iceberg fortress and it was located right off the coast from the biggest clan on the server. This clan were 14 people deep and I made them so mad it ended with me having to defend my iceberg from 14 people with 150 rockets in the most spectacular ending to a wipe ever. But I'm getting ahead of myself. This was still far down the road and before we even think about moving to the iceberg First, I had to get a start on the server, and it was four swipes, so just getting onto the server was a struggle. Well, it's gonna be a long night. Come on man, just let me in. <sighs> After two hours of queuing, I was finally on the server. Hey, we're in, finally. <laughs> On the server now I headed down south where I could set up my base just a few squares from the iceberg. Why is there a level 1 workbench there? The plan was to get everything I would need here before we move out on the iceberg. This would include a tier 2 workbench, enough resources to basically finish the base, components for guns, garage doors and ladder hatches, and the most important thing of all, diving gear. At the beginning this would be my only reliable way on and off the iceberg. Anyways, with a base down I headed out to check out the area. Oh. A raid on Vizik. Well, that's not good. That's a big clan. That's a very big clan. And that's where I'm gonna build my base. Of course, why would it be that easy to just build a base? Of course, there has to be a giant clan building right off the shore of the iceberg I'm trying to build on. <sighs> well, this is not going to be as easy as I thought. Yeah, it turned out I had built in quite the area. Luckily for me, these groups were running power plant and arctic base. And so I had supermarket completely to myself. And since the server was basically full, the loot here would respawn super quickly. Custom? That's so nice. And so I just ran this to fill up on components and scrap. Also, living next to clans in the beginning of a wipe can be a gold mine in itself. Yoink. So easy. Ooh. Easiest metal of my life. Thank you. I also tried going deep on an early clan base. Oh. No. <laughs> I ran the train system to fill up on components. I also had a few early game fights, but let's skip forward a little bit. I was quickly checking off everything I would need to move out to the iceberg. But it was also starting to get really late, and so I logged off. I figured the clans in this area would focus on getting rid of each other, and so my little shack should stay under their radar. But that night one clan, in the base right here down the hill from me, went to work getting rid of every single base in the entire area, including mine. Oh man. Fuck's sake. It was time to start again. I set up a base on the shore down the hill, and I got to work. And I sped through my checklist this time. Now, it wasn't without complications. 
but I was still able to pretty quickly get everything I would need to move out on the iceberg. I would also have an underwater lab right next to the iceberg. And so I could skip getting components and a level 2 workbench for now. Okay. It was time to put up the iceberg base. Let's go build the base. Somehow I managed to squeeze a base with external TCs and wide gaps on this little iceberg. I ran underwater labs to fill up on components and get enough scrap for a tier 2 workbench. Let the farming begin! It took a few runs, but before I knew it, I had a level 2 workbench. Okay, we have a level 2 workbench. Now we can finally start having some fun. Many hours had now passed since I logged on offline raided. And so it was time to yet again check out the neighborhood. Especially that big clan that had raided me. Bro, it's not even been a day. They have eight wind turbines up. What the... Jesus. Oh fuck. No way. The f this was my first encounter with the 14 man. Or I guess technically the second one. But for the first I was asleep in my base and they were going through my loot. Fucking hell. <laughs> Anyways, it was time to start contesting the other players on the server. First, I made sure that no one other than me ran underwater labs. Oh shit. Also, anytime I heard the 14 man fighting on the mainland, I tried to take as many guns from them as possible. And we leave. Now I wish most fights against the 14 man went like this. But in reality I lost way more fights than I won. What the? Luckily they had no idea where I lived right now and it would probably be smart to keep it that way. Anyways as it was starting to get late a cargo ship came out and I took it. Am I really gonna get a free cargo? A day off the wipe? I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> For sure. Whoa. Jesus, I thought that was a person. <laughs> oh, it's starting to get too late, man. After this, I logged off. And the next day started amazingly. We win those.
And so when Heli came out, I had the amazing idea of taking it. Let's go! Oh, what a great, what a heli, man. Some great heli loot for sure. But what I didn't realize yet was that I had just broadcasted to the rest of the server that someone lived out here and had the resources to take heli. And so it didn't take very long for people to come and check out my base. Oh my. It was the 14 man. This was not good. Oh no. Yeah, I bled out. Well, we are getting off plan raided tonight. That's for sure. Yeah, no, I wouldn't get off plan raided. Okay. Here we go. Yep. This was not good. My base was as far from ready as it could possibly be for me to defend my base. I have no idea how to play this. This is gonna be hard. No! Fuck. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that went great. I tried my best to take back the base, but there was just too many of them. No! Don't kill him. I don't know what to do, man.
I mean, it's not much I can do. Like, defending a base this early, it's close to impossible. Like, I just got the base up and then I get raided. Like, not really anything I can do. What? <laughs> this game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, are you fucking stupid? Like, are you really that stupid that you shoot the naked? Fuck me. I mean, they've already wasted like... What is it? 30? 30, 35 rockets so far? On like a 12 rocket raid? That's the problem, living this far out. It's so hard to get things done, because it takes me so long to get inland, just to like farm a few nodes. Are you not done? Really? And how is there still more shit to go through? Are they gonna go through every single door in that pace? They've wasted like 50 rockets just to get rid of me. And the thing is, I'm poor. I had one good gun that I got from cargo. That's it. I had like two K sulfur. Everything else I've done is just trying to get up to base. Bro, if they raid my external TCs. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're such losers if they do that. No way, right? The only real problem with living like this is the fact that when I play on servers, as soon as people realize that I live there, I get raided. That's just the way I have to play. And I don't mind that. But the thing that's hard with Ice Lake, it's so hard actually getting ready. Because getting shit done, like for example, just getting wood is fucking hard. Like there's barely any trees over here, so if I want so if I want wood, I have to go all the way over here. After I took Heli and someone landed on my roof, I probably should have just stayed in base and waited for them to come. My base was very easy to raid and if I wasn't on roof already when they came, it was going to be a pretty easy raid for them. But yeah, we move. Luckily for me, the raiders never went through my external TCs, and so rebuilding was pretty easy. So much barb. But it was actually hard for me to take this as a loss. Yes, I had just lost everything I'd worked so hard to get, but then again I didn't really have much. And they had also used so many rockets for such a cheap base. And not even an hour after the raid, the base was up and running again. And so, with this, it was time to start filling it up with loot again. Jesus. Easy. Okay, we're starting to get back now. Level 3 work bench. I also want to finish a bridge to the mainland. And then we can start having some fun. Today has had a few setbacks. Or at least one big one. But we're starting to get back. Get back into it. So, could be okay. One of the struggles with living like I am is that it's super annoying to come and go from the iceberg. And to get to the mainland you either need a boat or swim. And since it's in the snow biome, if I didn't want to freeze to death, I couldn't leave my iceberg without a hazmat suit or a wetsuit. And so to make the mainland easier to access, I was going to build a bridge going from my iceberg to the island and then from the island to the mainland. For this I would need a lot of wood, and so I spent the next two hours just farming trees. Then using this wood, I connected my iceberg to the mainland. Took a bit of wood, but it's done. Now we have access to the mainland without having to swim or take a boat. And with these now, it was much easier for me to contest the other players on the server. Oh, nice. 
Everything like this is so nice. Everyone like this. Well, someone's been in my compound. Oh no. It's it's the clan. It's the clan that failed me. I had just killed one of the clan members. I knew this because at this point most of the big clan had changed their names to include my name. And after I killed them here, they started camping my base. Hello IK, uh, did you like the honor raid? By the way, contact us, H19, if you want the biggest raid ever in your life. Oh my god. Listen, if they want to come raid me, there's nothing I can do, but I'm not going to contact someone to come and raid me. They continued coming to my base, trying to get my attention. And when that didn't work, they used all their shops to do this. So oh, sad. These people that raided me. You think they know who I am? You think that's what they mean? <laughs> like, it's always gonna be like that. It was really quite sad. And when all this didn't work, they tried to get my attention in other ways. Oh, fuck's sake. Now of course I thought this was a raid, but it was actually just another way to try and get my attention. Wipe tomorrow? What are they gonna wipe my base or what? When someone threatens you like this, it's mostly just that, an empty threat. But these guys were deep, and so on the off chance that they were actually serious, I set up a SAM site to stop them from MLRS rocketing me again. Then it was starting to get late, but trust me, I was not going to bed anytime soon. No, I spent the rest of the night making sure I wouldn't get offline raided, and the clan spent the entire night just being annoying. Did I allow you to sleep? No. If, if you don't ask me, I'm gonna go and shoot some uh, MLRS on your base again, okay? Do you understand? you understand your leader? I'm gonna go shoot them more side. But I will not raid you. I'm waiting for the big day. The big day when we have 200 rockets and we will foundation wipe you. Why would you weren't even shooting like incendiary rockets or something? They were shooting HV rockets at my windmill. This is. Oh man. Fucking hell. What are they shooting at? Yeah, we're turning that on for helicopters too. They're being so annoying. It's actually crazy.
and that was the last time that night that they would come and visit my base. The next day started with me just running around the snow PvPing. <laughs> what the fuck? Fucked. Thank you for the loot. But I still remembered that note that the clan had left me. Why tomorrow? And so when a fob popped up on the island next to my iceberg, I feared the worst. Whoa. Uh, well, I'm about to get raided. But that raid never came. Instead, they used this base to try and roof camp me. And when that didn't work, they also tried shooting out my wind me. And after an hour of back and forth, they just stopped. I headed over to their base and they were cooking up something. But they had left their fob completely abandoned. I'm gonna raid the raid base. See if they have any explosives or kits in there. So if I can get some more AKs, that would be nice. And if I can get some rockets or something, they might be like stupid. Maybe rock rockets in there. Or at least explosive ammo or something. Oh shh! What the fuck? Bro, bro, bro. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! 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 That's not good. That is not good. Well, here we go. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but it's gonna be fun. Like, I'm probably not gonna win, but who cares? What the? Oh. Jesus fucking Christ. It's a lot of them. Jesus. There's so many of them. One, only 20 more.
Time to get some backup. The a lot of a lot of them were dead. They're getting back so quickly though. That's not good. I don't know what to do. Like, what can I do? No, I can't see. Twenty of them, bro. <laughs> and yeah, it looked like it was over for me. But they hadn't won this raid yet. Where? 
l'époque. I mean, I think I killed all of them once at least. As I kill a lot with those first HP rockets, I needed to kill all of them there. But as soon as I didn't kill all of them and I died, that's when it was GG. Because all of them just got back and then it was 20 people back again. <laughs> No, no, no. I mean, listen, sometimes when people want you gone, you're gone. And unfortunately, this wipe I built next to a 20 man that knew how I was and they wanted me gone. So, nothing, nothing I could do. <laughs> I don't think I'm done yet. Bro, what have they done? <laughs> it's gone. GGI, okay. Yeah, like that at the beginning there. That's that, that was my only chance. I feel like I killed a lot of them. <laughs> There's the Jesus cheater. Nah, you're actually a bitch. You're actually a bitch playing with cheaters. I okay, kind of said. Yeah, I'm playing with cheater. You sure? Oh, that's a hacker. <laughs> hacker comes and clean them up. <laughs> well, I guess the hacker wins then. Because <laughs> that wasn't them, right? Not someone else. I mean, that's just... That's just rust for you. In what can only be described as the most rust thing ever. After this 14 man came and absolutely destroyed me. A hacker comes through and destroys them. And so, in the end, we both lost. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, they still done exactly what they told me they would do. They had completely foundation wiped my base. And so I have to give them that. This is for sure one of the craziest things I have ever been a part of in Rust. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you check out this video where I built my base on an ice lake and defended 5 back to back raids. Or check out this one where I foundation wiped a clan with 150 rockets. Come on, click one.